spring. Uh, winter weather has a way of making life a little bit gloomier, but there are ways to get rid of the blues. And we have Scott Weber here with us from the Kalamazoo Nature Center. What is your title over there? Good morning. I'm the Farm Education Coordinator. Farm Education Coordinator. Okay. And he's explaining to us uh, so actually new science. It's not just obviously winter. We all know you need chicken noodle soup. You got to stay warm or else you get a cold, you get the flu, whatever. But it's not just kind of, you know, mom's advice. There's science right. now. So. There is. There's a brand new branch of meteorology called biometeorology, which they've actually studied how the weather impacts um, human beings, animals. And especially they have found that when the weather is changing, like when we get a big rainstorm, snowstorm, maybe a cold front is coming in, it actually causes our immune systems to go down. Um, it causes those aches and pains that that some people report in their joints, so there's actually science saying that these things happen. Some people who suffer from asthma and allergies, they found that that actually legitimately that it de makes that much worse. Is there anything that goes uh, to explain why that would be? I mean, like in terms of Darwinism or anything, is there anything that goes back? Yeah, I, I, it seems to me that we need to be, you know, at our best when the temperatures drop, but our immune system doesn't want to help us out there. Well, I would say, really, what it is is. It's our body's way of telling us um, to hunker down, to, to prepare for the changes. But in our modern, fast-paced technology, technology era, we just want to keep going and we ignore those body signals. Yeah. And so when um, our body is telling th us something, like when you're first feeling sick, Maybe you should call in sick, and maybe you should take a break. Maybe you should don't try take to power some... through for the right. for the sake of the company. Right. All right. Maybe we should tell some of the folks here that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but you you brought some uh, fun things here to show us. I was hoping that we were going to see some kind of experiment, but I guess ah. not, I guess not today. Um, but you said that uh, these are some of the things that we can use to keep to stay healthy. Right. Because one of the biggest things of, about Michigan is we get our changing weather. Um, and then 40 to 50 percent of the sunshine, um, we only get 40 to 50 percent of sunshine possible in a year. And so one of the biggest things is that I recommend is light therapy. Um, and I usually so like tell... So going tanning? You, um, is that tanning, tanning could work. I thought that was bad for you. Um, <laughs> that's overrated. Okay, um, okay. And I actually, here I, I've got uh, what we use is um, lizard light. So... Um, using UVA, UVB to stimulate your body. It's just, you know, five to 20 minutes a day just to get your body to produce the vitamin D that you need. Gotcha. Then there's some things like garlic and ginger, which um, our ancestors have used to fight illnesses. The first onset of illnesses um, are... Um, this is echinacea or purple comb flower. Echinacea. The, my, the, mom always, my mom loves that. She always she's always pushing it on me. Yep, and it it, it works. What, what's, the, what's this last one here? This is uh, this is nettle. So this is what um, in the summertime stinging nettle. Um, it's full of lots of nutrients and like it soaks up that energy from the sun and then you know first sign of illness. Eat use, that stuff. Um, usually use it in teas. Gotcha. It's dried, and you can you can buy it in boxes like this. All right. Um, well, Scott, I hate to cut you off there. My producers are probably going nuts upstairs. I appreciate it. We are out of time. Uh, Scott Weber from the Kalamazoo Nature Center coming here with some tips on how to stay well and the science behind why we get sick during the winter. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I really do appreciate it.